I'm here at Quantum Life Cycling in Edmonton, where they recycle electronics. Now the city leads the way in e-recycling per capita in all of Canada. So let's look at why that is and how it all works here. The electronics that arrive here are from Alberta, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. Items go through this machine. It uses x-rays and AI to identify the ones that contain batteries, shining a laser on it so workers can then sort them so the batteries are removed at another station. This really allows them to focus their time and energy on the things that actually contain batteries, and then we make sure that we get a better recovery rate. All those different batteries end up here. They're sorted by chemistry type, and are packaged in a way that's safe so there isn't a reaction. So that we can recover, you know, the lithium and the various other, uh, you know, precious metals and uh, rare earth metals that are within these things. Desktop computers could be put through a shredder and broken down into small pieces. Instead, they're taken apart by hand. The parts that are still usable are separated and work their way down a conveyor belt. These bales are then sent by rail to Toronto. There's a check that's done in the equipment from a safety standpoint. Again, really batteries is the key focus there. Uh, and then it goes through a separation process that includes shredding and eddy currents and magnets and optical sortation and, you know, maybe in the future some additional plastic separation. These items are considered at their end of life when they start on this conveyor belt, but they'll end up as a whole new product in a life cycle. Travis McEwen, CBC News, Edmonton.